So let's start with the question. What do you travel in when you are looking for a luxury diesel motor home that sleeps seven, that can take you anywhere and you can travel with the entire family? I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach with the answer, the Palazzo 37.6. This is an amazing motor home. The room you have inside, the kitchen, the way it looks, it's easy to use, you're going to love it, but before we take our tour, we need to open it up. This is what the Palazzo is like with all of the three, yes, three, three slide walls are in, and you can see you have access to your fridge, you have access to the bunks, this is the bunkhouse model, you have access to the first bath, this has two full baths. Let's open this baby up. So in order to open it up, you are going to need the engine running. You're also going to want to put your jacks down. Now I do have the jacks down. There is an auto air dump and we'll talk about that when we get up front. I have all of that set. The engine is running. So let's walk back and talk about Rapid Camp Plus because new for 2023, this is Vega Touch Eclipse. I'm going to go ahead and put this wall out right behind me here. This is our passenger side slide. You simply hit extend and out it goes. And as the wall goes out, I will touch on Vega Touch Eclipse. It's the latest app. And what's great about this is you connect through the cloud from wherever you are in the US, Canada, or Mexico, and you can control every function from your phone. You just download the app. It's it's really neat. So let's say that you are off on an excursion, okay? And it is going to get late and you want to turn on your lights. Let's go ahead and open up our driver's slide now. Really easy to do. No matter where you are, you can take, open up the app, hit lights and your lights will come on. If you want to turn on the climate, turn on your climate. And again, you can do that from anywhere in the US, Canada, and Mexico. So even if you have a friend who has a helicopter who jets you off to somewhere tropical for dinner, you can control your palazzo from there. And if you have that friend, hook me up because I want a tropical dinner via a helicopter ride. So that is our driver's side slide. We do have to put out our bed slide yet. And as we are putting out our bed slide, this is a tilt-a-view queen bed. And it does have to be in the up position. It gives you a reminder right here on the screen that, hey, is, is your bed up? And you go ahead and clear that. And then you'll see the, all the room when we get here through the rest of the tour. And I will show you the rest of the screens as soon as this bed is put out in three, two, one. Let's start our tour. So right here from the home screen, you can control all your lights, master lights on or off. You can check your tank levels as well. You're fresh, you're gray. You do have two black tanks on this because you do have a full bath in the rear. You can check your propane levels. You can turn on your tank heaters from here. You can turn on your water pump from here. And remember with your water pump, when you're plugged into city water, when you're hooked up at the campground, the RV resort, wherever you are camping, you don't need to run the water pump. When you are dry camping and you are not hooked up to city water, you will need to turn your water pump on. You can control your climate. You have two ACs. You have uh, a block heater you can turn on from here, which is great. You do have a quick look at your house battery, your chassis battery. You can start and stop your generator from here. You can check on your solar. Yes, we have integrated the solar controller, a 30 amp solar controller, and, and we changed it up. It's more efficient. You're gonna love having all the controls right here. So 100 watts of solar are standard. If you wanna add more, you can do that again, a 30 amp controller, and you access that right here from the home screen. And you can also set your auto gen start from here. Or you go down to the second button, which is like a little lightning bolt. Again, monitor your batteries, and then it's gonna talk about your inverter and your charge. You have a 2000 watt inverter on here that has a 100 amp charger, and we'll show you where that is located when we do our exterior walk around. Uh, the triggers for your auto gen start, you want low volts, do you want your HVAC? You can set it up however you want, and you just hit AGS, and now you are look at, you're looking at this going, okay, well, what am I gonna set my quiet time? How long do I want it to run? When do I want it to start? When do I want it to stop? How many times do I want it to try? You can do all that right from this screen. Down here on lights, you have lights for every 
every inch of your palazzo, wherever there's a light, you can control it right from here, from your bedroom ceiling to the bathroom to the cargo bays. Let's turn those on right now. That way they are on when you get ready to go outside. The step wall has a light, and if there's an arrow on it, that means it's a dimmer, so you can go ahead and you can dim that light for you. Let's talk about climate because you have, again, the two ACs in here, and you can control rear and front separately. You can even set it so you have cool air in the front and heat in the back, or heat in the front, cool in the back. However you want to do it, it's the climate in your Palazzo. And just remember, uh, when you are setting these, you want to take the ambient temperature and keep that in mind. So if it's really hot out, you don't want to go 15, more than 10 to 15 degrees below that ambient temperature with your thermostat, because there's a really good chance that you're going to freeze up your coils, because that AC is going to work really, really hard to keep it up with the temperature you set. Set that temperature before you go to bed at night when it's cool or early in the morning or even when you start off on your trip and then just keep it running and then you can incrementally bring that down. But um, you have your climate here, you even have auto, which is a great feature, uh, especially when you get into those weird climates where it's freezing at night and it gets blistering hot in the day. You just set it to auto and you set where you want the AC and the furnace to come on and you are golden. Uh, down here, we do have vents. You have vents in the bath. You have uh, vents in the kitchen. You can open and close those. You can adjust the fan speed right from here. This is where we control the slide walls. This is where you control your awnings. You do have uh, a front and a rear awning on this. We'll put those out when we go outside, and we will put the walls back in before we go outside as well. And then down here, you have your settings button. Mobile app is where you connect to your Vega Touch Eclipse. There are some diagnostic pages you can look at. If there is a fault in one of your devices, you can adjust the time, the screen brightness. So a lot of features here from Rapid Camp Plus. Now that we have that out of the way and we're opened up and we're ready to live, we're going to show you all around this Palazzo 37.6. First, what I want you to do is take a look at this amazing interior. This is brand new for 2023. We have this beautiful wood. This is our studio collection, Sanibel wood. I love the cabinets, a nice matte finish. And this is our Dulce interior. And I am telling you what, with just the way this backsplash looks, the valances, this is on point. This looks phenomenal. I can't wait to walk you through the kitchen. I love the way the kitchen looks in here. So much storage in here. And we also have other options for you. From a wood standpoint, you can choose regatta. And our other color of interior is called Villa. So those are your color options for the Palazzo. And this is the new one. I am liking the way that this looks. From a floor standpoint, also for 2023, this is luxury vinyl tile. This is so durable. This is the stuff that a lot of you may have in your homes. Uh, it's super easy to clean. It withstands just about anything. I recently laid uh, vinyl tile down in my living room. I have two very active golden retrievers. One's a puppy, not a single scratch. You can just do it, not even worry about this. And it looks great. The light color really just opens it up in here and just adds a lot of light, a lot of warmth a lot of hominess in here because this is going to be your home when you are on the road. So let's talk about where are you going to sit when you are at home, on the road, wherever that may be. Well, why don't we start with the dinette? Love some of the things that we've done with the dinette. First, you know, you're going to find two child safety tethers built right into the back of here so you can fit a couple of of seats up here. If you travel with real little ones, uh, you have backrests back here. So it, you, with the opposing seating, right? You can sit back here. You have the backrest. You're having a nice conversation. Also, I love this feature too. Right underneath here, we have storage. All right, you would move your cushions out of the way and we'll put those back. And then you move the back cushion as well. We'll put that right back. And then you lift this up. And look at all of the storage you have in here. And you have that on both sides of the dinette. So no matter what you want to stow away, you can go ahead and put it right in there. And you know what I, sh you know what I should have done? You should, you know, and I know you're thinking it too, right? You're like, Steve, you had the cushions off. You should have just made it into a bed. And we're going to go ahead and show you how this makes into a bed real quick. Um, I do have some, some glass up here, so be very, very careful. But there's a lever underneath, and you just turn that. And then you push that down, and it's so smooth, you're not even bothering, you're not even bothering your white wine. 
and then you would take these cushions once this is down and then you would fold those over and now you have a nice dinette to sleep in the morning you simply lift that up you lock that in place you are back to dinette mode and you do have seat belts in here as well for the ride we just have those tucked under right now entertainment wise right above the dinette as we transition to the theater seating now you you have options either theater seating or a sofa you can get what you like in your palazzo 37.6 right over here though oh my look at this we have our tv and for 2023 this is a smart tv and what i really like about having a smart tv is the ability to stream whatever you like so you can take and uh, hook up to the Weingart Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. And now you have internet in your Palazzo. Real easy. All you have to do is insert a SIM card up top. You can choose a data plan through Weingart. You can choose a data plan through your favorite carrier. And then you just pop in the SIM card. And now you have internet no matter where you go. You set your own password. It is also a Wi-Fi extender. So it will pull in weaker Wi-Fi signals for you and you can use that same password to log in. You can create a guest network if you like for the kids. That way uh, when you're traveling, you're like, hey, you know what? It's, it's enough screen time. Let's get out there and do something. And after all, that's, that's what you're traveling for, right? Is to get out there and do something. You also have a sound bar. So if you'd like to uh, play some music, you most certainly can. And as we're talking entertainment right up here in the 37.6, uh, you do have an HDMI switcher. You also have a Blu-ray player. And if you would like to hook up a gaming console, feel free. And then when you're on the road, if you have teenagers, they can get a Victory Royale in Fortnite while you are driving, thanks to the wine guard. So that is the entertainment. You also have a, a TV in the bedroom and outside, and we'll show you when we get there. But these are great with the sound bar, these, this, this theater seating. Look at that. You put your feet up. You're relaxing. You're having a great time, you're having a conversation, maybe you're watching a movie and it sounds like a theater because you have that sound bar. Love this, love the seating in here. Also, and we're not done with seating yet because we have two more places up front I wanna talk about the captain's chairs, right? So you have the driver's seat, you have the passenger seat. Those do swivel and that allows you to take and invite even more people around so you got uh, people at the dinette, you have people here at the theater seating or the sofa, again, whatever, whatever you like. And then you do have uh, a couple of seats right up front with the passenger seats. So you have plenty, plenty of seating in your Palazzo and plenty of storage. I mean, you look at all the cabinets here. You have another nice cabinet back here. And now we are on to the kitchen. I love this kitchen setup. It's just, again, this whole setup is on point. It looks amazing. You have this solid surface countertop right here. You have this beautiful backsplash. You have lights right here to help you see what, maybe it's, maybe it's popcorn for the movie. And this switch here controls this under counter lighting, which is really nice to have, especially if you are traveling with little ones or Honestly, even, uh, even yourself, when you're into some areas that may not be well lit and it's night and you want to see if you're coming up front, maybe get a snack or whatever it is, it does make a great nightlight and it's not, it's not um, obtrusive, right? It's not obnoxious. That's not going to bother you at all. So you have the shelf back here. You can store whatever you want on. You have this pop-up outlet. You have one, two, three, 110 outlets in and that just pushes down out of the way for you but you want to plug in uh, the popcorn maker or maybe you want to plug in a food processor a blender a coffee maker whatever it is you can do that right here you have the dual burner electric induction cooktop i like cooking with the electric induction remember not every pan will work you do need pans that will work with your electric induction cooktop so what are you going to bake in a lot of people love the oven a lot of people including myself love the convection microwave for a couple of reasons one when you're in a space like this you don't you don't want to heat it up an oven will heat that up and a lot of times you can't fit everything you want in there and it's it's you know cooking with and it, there's i've used them i think they're great but you can do so much in this convection microwave i mean yes you can use it as a microwave you can also use it to bake 
It also, because of the way it works, the way convection works, and it blows the hot air around in there, it's like an air fryer. So this is really a great, fast way to hook, cook up, uh, you know, especially again, we're talking because this is the bunkhouse model. We're traveling with little ones in here. How about some chicken tenders and some fries? Boom! Convection right there. By the time, by the time your oven would have heated up, your kids are no longer hangry. And, and parents, I think you're with me. There's nothing worse than traveling with hangry kids. You don't want to do that. No hangry kids. A lot of storage up here as well. Uh, the, the sink is a double bowl stainless steel sink. There are covers for it. And what's nice, you have a place to store them right down below. So you need a little more room up here. Maybe you want to put a cookbook or, or a bigger cutting board, whatever it is, you can do that. Or you can just take and you can easily store that right down below. You have three very large uh, drawers here. Look at that. We have some extra parts. We have uh, the hose for the air compressor. Uh, we'll talk all about that when we uh, get outside, including an extra filter for your whole home filtration system. So a lot of great storage up front, and you do have a residential refrigerator. Nice little lock on there. It's huge inside. You got your bins, you have your shelves, you have a separate freezer, you have an ice maker. We'll talk all about getting everything running here when, when we get hooked up and we are either plugged into shore power or we have the inverter turned on, which again, you can do from Rapid Camp Plus. But when we go outside, we'll show you how to use and set everything up. The other feature I wanna talk about up front, because we're talking about traveling and we're talking about a lot of people traveling in this 37.6, this is a bunkhouse model. So we have the bunks here. Let's just go back and, and talk about the bunks. So we have our bunk set up right here. All right, we have, and this is, this is awesome. Right in the back here, we have a tablet holder. So this is amazing, right? You just throw your tablet up there. We've already got you connected to the WineGuard Connect. You throw the tablet up there and the kids are just streaming whatever they want. This is like their own little resort, right? You, you undo the curtain and you pull it over. Now everybody has privacy in the morning, tuck it away. You have a connection for cable. You also have a 110 outlets back here as well. So if you wanna plug in and it's real easy to access these bunks with this easy to store ladder. Now it stores in one of the closets. I just pulled it out here for ease of use right into place up you climb away you go remember 250 pound weight capacity on these bunks now one thing i want to talk about look how easy that stores just love that i'm going to set it here so you have a couple of kids in the bunk and i want to talk more about some of the other sleeping options you have in here all right so we got we have two in the bunk right we made the dinette up for you let's say that you have the couch and not the theater seats that makes into a bed drop down overhead bunk holds 500 pounds you can sleep a couple kids up there so a lot of sleeping room up there you can control that through rapid camp plus the other ladder for the bunk stores in the closet in the bathroom which is where that is at right now and you have all that room and and we're not done yet we are not done with all the sleeping quarters because it's really like three individual sleeping places back here we have a door right here all right so now the party, the party area up front. We're gonna call that the party area. They are, they're, they're, we'll call it the chit chat group, right? They're doing their thing, but a little quieter folk back here. All right, they're doing okay. They're streaming something. You know what? The boss is right back there. Boom. Now you have this nice area. And here's, here's one of the nice parts about having the bunks because you have access to a couple of things. What do you want to talk about first? So let's see, if I was staying in the bunk, knowing my kids, boy, that's a tough call. I, you know, I'm gonna go bathroom. We'll talk about snacks in a minute. Because you do have uh, two full baths in here. This is full bath number one, fully equipped porcelain foot flush toilet. You have a sink, a lot of counter space here. You can brush your hair that make sure you look all good make sure you're combing that giant gray patch back there large medicine cabinets and what i really like about the shower in here is there's some depth to it so if you're traveling with dogs which we talked about you could bathe your dog in here you have a bigger dog use the exterior shower that we'll show you here soon but it's nice it's deep two full baths in here you have the oxygenic shower head and to make sure you're saving water 
a great feature we'll talk about when we show you the master bath, but this is full bath number one. Now the other, uh, and there's a vent fan in there too, the other feature I wanted to talk about when you make this your own area, how about this? Oh, pantry time, load it with all your favorite snacks. You can't go wrong with this. You know what? Maybe you are going to grill out. You're going to, you know, you want to be, what does this say? Big chef? Big chef. I am the big chef. You're outside, you're cooking, you're carrying stuff. Oh, who's, who spilled the ketchup on the floor? Not a problem. Not a problem, okay? This is residential vinyl plank flooring. I love how durable this is. You're cleaned up, right? This is big enough to store your cleaning materials in. So a lot of great room in this pantry. All right, we have area one. We have area two. Let's go see where the boss sleeps. Oh, this bedroom is huge. Now we do have the slide wall out. This is a tilt of view queen bed back here. And you have all kinds of room when the bed is up. I love the tilt of view queen bed for a number of reasons. If you like to read in bed, a lot of people uh, will actually, boy, reading a book. When's the last time you read an actual book? Last book I read, The Art of Racing in the Rain, way better than the movie. But uh, nonetheless, I digress. You can sit up, you can read a book, look at a tablet, you can watch TV. The person you're traveling with happens to snore. You can kind of tilt that up just a little bit, maybe help the airways if they need a little more help than that, if they need a CPAP machine. We are equipped back here for a travel CPAP machine. You have charging ports in the nightstands, a lot of storage up above, and a lot of storage right across that you can easily access. This is huge. You have hanging space here, maybe a couple pairs of shoes down here, in here. You have shelves for blankets or hats or books or more shoes. You can never have too many shoes on a camping trip, right? And another drawer down below. Over here, we do have our stackable washer and dryer. And yep, you can use that on the road. Just make sure that your generator is running. And if you want to do a load of laundry as you travel from place to place, you can do that. Just remember, it is going to take up space in your gray tank and we'll empty that gray tank when we go outside. You do have a TV in the bedroom, which is a great way to get a little entertainment in. And you, know, you watch what you want. Let everybody else watch what they want, right? And you have even more storage right back here. So a ton of storage, a ton of space back here in the bedroom. What's nice is one of the two air conditioning units is right here in the bedroom so it's your own oasis your own temperature right they can keep their area what they like you can keep it what you like uh, the other thing that you have back here that I want to show you on the windows you have sunshades and nightshades I think it'll be easier uh, if I show you here we do have uh, the sunshades here they are retractable and they block out so much sun you can get privacy just like that uh, if you want the, the roller shades down, but they do black out a lot of sun, especially, you know, if you're going to run that AC, uh, this will help keep out some of those harsh rays, but you do have those here. You have them here, uh, throughout the coach. So just keep those pulled down. You will love having them breaking away from some of that harsh sunlight. You know, we haven't talked about our master bath. That is going to be uh, our, our last stop on the end section. We still have to drive this Palazzo yet, which is a lot of fun. What a ton of room you have back here. I do want to first mention uh, the shower again, new for 2023 fiberglass surround showers. And what you see in both of those, which is really nice because you're not going to waste your fresh, uh, your fresh water, is the blue disc you see here. That is part of the shower miser. And this is a great system because you know how when you're ready to take a shower and you stand there with the hot water on and it takes forever to heat up, no more. So while that there, so here's how this works, easy to use. You turn the nozzle, okay? Then you turn on your hot water and as it's heating up, this is tankless hot water again, all right? So everybody's gonna get a hot shower. Tankless hot water, it's starting to get warm, it gets a little warmer, it gets hot to the temperature you have set. And that blue disc turns uh, this bluish shade of white. Now you know the water is hot. You crack the valve, hot water. You didn't waste a drop because it just recycles. So it's a great thing to have. It is the shower miser. And it is, again, in both of the bathrooms here in the Palazzo. You have the oxygenic shower head. You have the nice place to sit down back here. Plenty of counter space, a lot of drawers. You have an outlet up here. Uh, there's the controls for your tankless hot water inside this medicine cabinet. 
somebody here likes to shave, right? Look at all the shaving stuff, but you can put in whatever you want. That's cool. We get it. A lot of space here and a lot of space in this closet. You can fit all of these clothes. These shelves are adjustable. You have, oh, we got towels. I got some uh, extra shirts in here. You have towel hooks on the other side, another porcelain foot flush toilet. That is your master bath. And while we have that motor running, get your motor running. I'm going to head up and talk about what it's like to drive this Palazzo. I love sitting behind the wheel of these diesel pushers. One, they're so quiet, they're smooth on the road. Um, the one thing you got to watch out for is they are powerful beasts. This is a Cummins ISB 6.7 liter diesel engine. We're talking 340 horsepower, 700 pound feet of torque. And this is mated to a six speed Allison MH2500 transmission. Uh, it is smooth because you do have the air ride suspension we're working with. We have the I beam front axle with a 55 degree wheel cut. That is going to make a world of difference getting in and out of tight campsites. A 10,000 pound hitch out back. We're going to talk more about that when we walk around. You do have an exhaust brake you can control from the dash. Uh, I do want to walk through some of the other features that you do have up here. Uh, starting over here, uh, we talked a little bit about your air dump that's here. Again, you're going to want to take and dump out uh, the area. Just put it in lower. Your coach will go down about two or three inches. Then you can put your jacks down when you hit the road back to auto. Cup holder, place for your phone. Charging ports galore, USB ports. You do have 12 volt. Heated remote mirror switches to turn on your mirror heat right here. Uh, you do have an emergency start. You do have a cap light, which I love the cap light. We'll show you where it points out uh, but uh, when we walk outside. But look at this. I'll just take the video now and look at that. It's so cool. The Thor Motor Coach logo. I love that. I love that. Imagine walking back to that every night. Uh, a couple other things to point out here with the heated remote mirrors. They do have integrated side view cameras. And when you are turning left or right, that is going to take and that is going to show up on this infotainment center, which happens to be new for 2023. Uh, the other thing that is new is Freightliner tweaked the OptiView dash a little bit, got some new colors, a different look to it. But this is feature packed here. Everything that you want, including your tire pressure, it's so important to keep track of your tires. You do have tire pressure monitoring right here. You can control whatever settings you want to see on here just through the thumb buttons on the left side of the steering wheel. Choose what gauges you want to see. Look at your fuel economy. You have trip meters, vehicle settings, diagnostics. You can turn the menu off. You can look at uh, your oil pressure. You can look at the air pressure. You can look at the battery voltage. Uh, it's, it's, you can connect Bluetooth to it. In fact, it is feature rich. We do have an entire video on how to use this on our YouTube channel. So check that out. But the OptiView Dash is an absolutely fantastic feature to have. The other thing I want to talk about, uh, train of thought here as we're driving down the road and we're watching our speed and we're enjoying the smooth ride, is the Atlas Foundation. So uh, it's always true, level and strong. And what's great about the Atlas Foundation is when we get this, when we go outside and we're going to open the bays, you'll be able to see the rails. We talked about uh, the, the chassis, right? So what happens is, is our uh, engineers team up with the engineers from uh, Moride and we say, hey, listen, we have this Palazzo 37.6. It's an awesome motorhome and we need A, B, C, and D. And they say, not a problem. And so they create the Atlas Foundation specifically for this 37.6. They do it for all the Palazzo floor plans. So we're going to, it's set up for maximum storage. It's set up to give you a nice square house because it is always true level and strong it is built within certain specifications it's really a great structure to have and give you a peace of mind as you're driving down the road that you have a nice safe secure house as you are traveling also when you are traveling you are going to want to listen to maybe you want some music right well we have upgraded the uh, infotainment center for 2023 going to go through a couple of features here uh, you do have your radio you can tune in and listen to whatever channels you want whatever town you're in sirius xm satellite radio you can get a subscription listen to just about anything under the sun android auto apple carplay press the button that says camera and pull up the backup camera at any point Bluetooth phone, you can connect there. You can also go through the last page. It's a swipe screen and you can dial in a couple of settings. You can dial in the equalizer. 
Um, the one thing I do want to talk about, though, is because it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, this is going to be a benefit to you. Now, it does not have built-in navigation, and not a lot of people always use the built-in navigation. I mean, you may have it in your car. I have it in my car. I end up using a third-party app. Sometimes they just work better. So what's nice is you can download the RV-specific navigation you want to your device, and then you can take and use that on the screen. Or how about you get Road Pass Pro? One year free of Road Pass Pro when you get your new Palazzo. It's Campendium, RV Village, Road Tippers, Togo RV. You do get GPS specific to RV travel, and that is so handy to have when you're going through new towns. It's a large social network, so you can connect with other campers, talk about where they've been, what they've loved, um, other things that you may want to talk about. Hey, I just went here. Does anybody have any advice? Where should we go on an excursion? Oh, I went here. I did this. So a great way to connect with other people who love to travel like you do. And again, that comes free. Walking through the rest of the dash here, we do have some dash fans. You can start your generator from here. We do have docking lights. We do have a nightshade. So when you want privacy, you can take and put down the nightshade or uh, use it as a visor when you're traveling. Again, when you're driving, it won't go down all the way. It's a safety feature, but you can go ahead and put it down like that much and it acts as a visor. Uh, lights for your cabin, and uh, which are the lights right up above. And then you do have some map lights. You do have hard buttons for your radio, HVAC controls. You do have some storage down here. And your passenger gets to use the flip out dash workstation. I love the flip out dash workstation. My wife loves a flip out dash workstation. You do have 12 volt plugs, right? So you can take and put a laptop or a tablet and do a little work or catch up on the socials while, while, you're, uh, while you're traveling. You do have 110 down below, which when your inverter or generator are on, that plug will be active. Uh, this is a two bathroom coach, so you won't need to. It's a great place, so if you're traveling with daughters and a wife like I would be doing. I would have my wife in the main bath. One of my daughters, the two daughters would be fighting. They're both teenagers, be fighting for this bathroom. Then one of them would be able to end up sitting here and using that as a little vanity. So that makes a great place to get ready in the morning. So that wraps up the inside, the outside, just as featured packed. So before we go outside, I'm gonna take and put the slides in. And I'm gonna do this one for videography reasons. It's just gonna be easier for us to show you everything. And a couple of tips I wanna talk about when you are putting in your slide wall. So you go to the slide button on Rapid Camp Plus, and we're gonna go ahead and put in our, you gotta make sure that your chairs are spun around. And this is something I'm gonna talk about because a lot of times that does not happen and you wanna make sure that it is forward and you are going to clear the slide wall. So we have our chair clearing the slide wall here, and that is important because you don't want anything interfering. So we're going to retract our driver's side slide. So you see what I did there, right? It's almost as if I had that set up. So as that wall's coming in, you may realize like right now when that wall is just about to, would, would be hitting the chair had I not spun it around, you would stop the slide from coming in, and then you would fix the chair, and then you would come back. Well, after time, the, the motors may get out of sync from something like that. So you, you let the slide wall come in and you listen for the motors to sync up, which you will do because it makes a very specific noise. Ready? Here it comes. And it just kind of winds the motors. There it goes. All right. So as we bring in the bunks here, and this is another place where you're going to run into that, where uh, you may have to take, it's coming in. Oh, I dropped the, oh, the Nintendo Switch is on the floor. Wait, stop. Oh, okay, stop. And then you pick up the Nintendo Switch, and then you bring the wall all the way in. So what happens is the motors will get out of sync. Now, in the uh, bays, there's a brain, if you will. Uh, and, it, it, and it varies from floor plan to floor plan, but there's a little uh, box in there, and if there is a major problem, you can reset the slides from there. There'll be flashing lights, and you can reset them there, but I'm gonna show you a neat little trick that is going to take and help sync up your motors. Now, this is the bed lift, and it's gonna ask you, hey, make sure the tilt of view is in the up position. Yes, it is. Now you can retract that slide. So once this slide is in, a quick tip to help make sure that your motors are synced. And it's something that I just have gotten into the habit 
of doing every single time I put my slides in or out. That way the motors are always synced and they're always going to be ready to go for me at a moment's notice because when you pull into that RV resort, the last thing you want to do is take all day to set up camp. You want to get out there and explore. So our bed slide just came in. All right, but we did stop the bunk slide from coming in. So what you want to do, since we were retracting that, start on the opposite side here, which would be extend. So we were hitting retract. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you hear that? Now the motors are synced up. And you can do that on every single one of your slides and you know that your motors are ready to go. So when you're ready, they're ready. It's just that easy and it's just as easy to use your Palazzo outside. So let's head out and get connected so we can enjoy our RV resort. I wanna start right here and we're gonna start up front and walk all the way around and we'll get into everything else that's in this bay in just a minute, but I wanted to open the hood because we talked about your generator. We talked about starting it remotely. We talked about using the control on the dashboard and here it is. Right up front, this is a quiet diesel 6,000 watt generator. This will power everything in your Palazzo. There's a little maintenance on there, so make sure you're checking your coolant level, make sure you're checking your oil, make sure you're doing your oil changes and you will have no problems running your generator. And again, as we talked about with the air conditioners, go ahead and run it while you're driving. Keep your Palazzo nice and cool. Also in here, we showed you the air hose. This is the chuck for the air hose. Fill up the tires, fill up the bikes, whatever it is, you can go ahead and fill that up. And this is the hood. And what I like about the hood is this illuminated Thor badge. Love the daytime running lights the fog lights, the headlights, large windshield, beautiful, beautiful motor home. And this paint scheme is fantastic. This is, this is a Sickens full body paint and we do that across the line on our Palazzo. The nice thing about Sickens paint is it never fully cures. So you're not gonna get those spider lines. It's not gonna spider web, it's not gonna crack. It is going to last you a long, long time. It's used in a lot of high-end vehicles. Now, the color you're seeing right behind me is called Crystal Downs. We have a couple other colors as well. We have four, we have three to show you though. This is Pacific Dunes. And this one is called Riviera. Can't go wrong with any of those choices. I love them all. Now we talked about the rear view mirrors when we were inside and how the camera shows up in the infotainment screen. We do have that camera integrated right here. So that is gonna give you a nice view down the side. Again, remote heated mirrors, you do have to adjust the bottom convex mirror. Uh, it's always great to have somebody you're traveling with adjust that for you and dial it in exactly how you want. Do have a, a couple of names for this. Some people call it the pet window. We talked about traveling with your pets, right? They can look out of here and have a great time. Some people call it a trucker's window and it's really a great way to take some of those blind spots out when you are traveling and you're not sure what is in the lane next to you. A quick glance right out here. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you, we talked about lighting and I showed you the button on the dash. There it is. That's the light that's gonna project on the ground on the 37.6. It's really, really cool. This, well, here's the video of it again. That looks great. I love it. The other thing you're gonna love, storage. So much storage in this Palazzo Bay One. 120 cubic feet of storage in here. One of the nice things about the storage bays that we do have is the way that they're constructed. You can see it's like this bright, white pebble board and uh, this is there's no wood materials in here it's a combination of uh, asdel and fiberglass and some insulation and that is vacuum bonded so there are no organic materials in these storage bays they are really easy to wipe out you have a lot of storage again 120 cubic feet of storage don't want to pass up your dual fuel fills this is fuel fill number one you have another one on the other side so no matter what way you pull into the gas station you'll be able to fill up. You do have 90 gallons of fuel capacity. Dual pane windows across the board. These are frameless windows. They are top hinged. You just open them up awning style and they will open up and allow a lot of nice ventilation. Now we do have two awnings here. We showed you how to work them through Rapid Camp Plus. You can also put them out using your phone. So when you're outside, you just have to take and you go to the Vega Touch app and they are one touch awnings. All you have to do is press the button. Now I, I do want to set up as we showed you the other colors, 
those are different floor plans, by the way, so they're not all 37-6 floor plans, but I just wanted to show you those other floor plans to show you all the color. So you just t simply hit extend. This is the front awning, one touch, and out it comes, and you can retract it. You, there are lights on the arms, which I like, and there are wind sensors in the front and in the back. I'm going to go ahead and put this one back in, but you have a front and a rear and when it gets windy or the weather is inclement, the sensors will take and bring that back in for you. Don't forget to put your awnings in before you leave for the day. Uh, it's just a, just a way to protect your coach, protect your awnings. You don't want any damage in case Mother Nature decides to be a little feisty. Nobody needs a feisty Mother Nature but front, and there goes our rear awning just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy let's go ahead and get that one back in but this one goes out over uh, your tv as well and we'll talk about exterior entertainment when we get uh, outside just hit retract and away you go and uh, these are just a fantastic way to enjoy the outdoors i mean look at that front and rear just so much shade if uh, somebody wants to set up a little a little party here or maybe a party there you can do that in the palazzo. The, also thing you, uh, the other thing you can also do in the palazzo is, is tow and haul and carry, oh, so much. This sticker when you walk by is your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. Super important uh, to know. This tells you how much you can take and put in your palazzo. 6,914 pounds. It also tells you the length because a lot of times you go to a campground and they'll say, well, how long is your motor home? And if you don't know right off the top of your head that this is 38 feet, 11 inches, you can look right there and that is going to give you the specification there. So some, uh, some great information right here at your fingertips. As we work our way, uh, a couple of items I wanna show you in, in the doorway, your battery disconnect switch. We talked a little bit about power. Turning on your main power fires up all the 12 volt systems in your motor home. You wanna turn that on before you leave, keep it on the entire time. That way all the 12 volt systems will run. And then we showed you on Rapid Camp Plus, you can go ahead and turn on your inverter uh, you can also set your auto gen start as well, but keep that 12 volt uh, battery disconnect switch on on. And then you have a couple of panels here for uh, remote panels for your Rapid Camp Plus. When you come in, you can automatically turn the lights on. And the button here, this is for your step. If you take and you turn that button on, now notice your step is out. That way it doesn't keep going in and out as you open and close the door. And there's a little mud room here, so you come back, there are muddy shoes you can go ahead and you can toss them in there. But I flip the switch and your step will go right back in. This little bay here, this is some plumbing for your refrigerator. So if you'd need service for the ice maker, that is done right through here. Another storage bay. This is gonna give you some pass through so you can fit quite a bit in here. We talked about uh, the chassis, look at that. There's, there's some of the chassis rails and then uh, you, got, you can fit whatever you want in here. They have their own lights you can control with Rapid Camp Plus. How about? Another large storage bay. Yeah, all kinds of storage in here. There's a GFCI outlet in here as well. So you can go ahead and plug in some outdoor, uh, whatever it is you need to plug in. Maybe it's a blender, maybe it's uh, whatever it is you want. You can go ahead and plug in there. Remember, if it's not working, it's GFCI. So go ahead and check out your GFCI outlet uh, in the bathroom. Another storage bay here. here is your fresh water tank. This is gonna be 95 gallons of fresh water. You fill it up right from here. You take off the cap, you put in your hose, you turn on your water source. Now make sure it's a hose for potable water. Okay, you don't wanna uh, use a hose that you're gonna sanitize your uh, black tank with, but a little vent there, when that trickles out, you are golden. How about a little, how about some, some entertainment? Say, let's pretend we have the awning out. You have your TV on a swivel, you have your smart uh, sound bar. So all kinds of great entertainment outside, large TV outside, and it's shaded. And again, you can take and rotate it however you want to get out of the sun, or you know, you get, you're sitting over there, you're sitting over there, real easy. And then you just put it back in, you lock it up, away you go. As we move on down the line, here are your house batteries, you have four house batteries, your chassis batteries, you have a couple of uh, breakers in here. This is your chassis battery disconnect switch. So if you're storing it, you can go ahead and turn that off. Just remember, before you hit the road, you're gonna wanna take and turn this back on so your chassis batteries are ready for you. Down here, there's that 2000 watt inverter we talked about. It's Remember, it's a 2000 watt pure sign inverter and a 100 amp charger, tankless hot water. 
and, and there's really not much you need to do with this. This is, this is right here. Uh, and exterior propane connection. Propane tank is on the other side. This is great for gas grills. This is great for portable fire pits. So whatever it is, hook up here. Remember, this is a regulated connection. So if you are not getting the flame action you like, remove the regulator from the device you have, not from here. Let's walk around back. We do have a ladder here for you. This is so you can go up and do some roof maintenance. You can check the ACs, you can clean it, you can do everything you need to do up there on that one piece roof. Up top, we do have our backup camera. Again, you can pop that on when you are driving and the display right where we showed you shows up there. It's a great feature to have. Uh, we'll just work from middle down. Some, some quick engine access here. You can check on your air, air filter, uh, engine oil. This is for Freightliner Diagnostics. Uh, right over here, you can take and you can put in your power steering fluid. Uh, your transmission oil goes here and your engine oil goes here and your coolant goes in there. Then down below, we do have our 10,000 pound hitch. Here is our seven pin connector. And remember for towing, it is GCWR minus GVW. That is how you come up with how much you can tow. But again, a 10,000 pound hitch on this Palazzo. We do have to set up camp. We have to plug in. We have to hook up our sewer. We have to talk about draining the tanks. And we're gonna do that as we head over here. A lot happening on this side. I like to call this the business end. This is where all the business happens. Uh, this is the air intake for, we showed you how to check the air filter. Here's your air, air intake. 50 amp service on your Palazzo. You're gonna have a detachable cord, which I love because you can store it in any bay that you like. And when you plug this in, it's really easy to twist and you have a twist lock. You lock that right in place. You'll get a little light on here knowing when you have power before you plug the other end in, circuit breakers off, plug it in, then turn the circuit breakers on. And you now have 50 amps of juice inside your Palazzo. Now what's interesting and unique about this, and, and I like the capacities as we showed you the master bath. Well, what's nice is it has its own black tank, which you are going to drain right here. It's 18 gallons, uh, and that ties into the 40 gallons that you have uh, up front for the black tank too. So you really have 58 gallons of black. It just separated 18 back here. And I guess what we're talking about it, uh, two gray tanks as well, 40 up here that will drain. There's another 29 gallon gray tank under the sink, but they both drain into the same place. So you just, you really just pull one gray lever and you can drain your gray water that way. But you'll hook up here and you will drain your black tank for the master bath uh, in the back here. Uh, this one is next. Diesel exhaust fluid, there's a gauge here. You can also check it on the OptiView dash. Again, I told you that thing is feature rich. You can check your diesel exhaust fluid right here. I do wanna talk real quick about our slide outs because we do have three slide outs on here. We put them all out, we put them all in, and you can see this is a very big motor home, 38 feet, 11 inches. And the way that we construct these side walls is that we take this side wall, and then you know when we laminate them, which where we take the we take the fiberglass and the and we take the black foam insulation, the aluminum frame, and the inside wall board, we put it into we put the adhesive on there, we put it into a sleeve, and then we suck all the air out with vacuum bonding. Um, what we do though, what's really neat is we take and we cut each slide out out of the same piece. So for this big sheet of fiberglass. This was cut out, the other wall was cut out, and then they're labeled with the unit number and they're set aside and then they're put back in. That way you know it is going to be a nice square feet, it's a square fit. It's not like there's just a, a warehouse of these and say, hey, we need another slide for Palazzo 37.6. No, they are specific to this motorhome, to each motorhome gets its own slides from its own sheet of fiberglass from its own sidewall. So uh, a nice feature there, so you're gonna get a nice square fit. As we work our way down, here is our whole home filtration system. We showed you the extra filter. You change it right over here. And so much happening in here, and I like how everything is just convenient. You have a one inch drain here for uh, your fresh water tank. You have some low point drains here. If you wanna flush your tank, you can do that right here. Uh, you have an exterior shower. And with this system, the way that it's set up is you can do, one, you can fill your fresh water tank from this side or that side. Again, it's 95 gallons. Use the same 
hose for potable water, and you put it in, and then you just really fill or, or follow the instructions here. So you would just turn it uh, to tank fill, and then you can fill your tank. If you're dry camping and you want to run off of your freshwater tank, you dry camp. If you're winterizing, you do that there. If you're running off of city fixtures, you move that down. Uh, and your water heater here, normal bypass drain or sanitize uh, as well. So you just turn that to whatever it is you want it to do. Now here is where we have to drain our sewer. Again, you do have the two black tanks on here. But what you want to do is you're going to wear gloves. This is a new Palazzo. It's never been used before. So we're just doing it. We're just doing it like this. Uh, but this, this rotates up and down. There's a cover right here. And you just spin this off. And then you can take and you can remove the cap. And then when you spin this down, you just take and you hook up your sewer hose. All right. And then you're ready to drain your... T well, after you run that end and down, you, you want to put it into where it goes, right? You don't just want it laying on the campground. That would be a very, very short, nasty stay. And then you would be known as those nasty campers, right? People say, oh, you won't believe what happened with me. Granted, you would become part of their story. So it's however you want to play it. I would recommend just putting it into the dump station there, right? You're going to go ahead and you're going to pull your black handle. And then once that empties out, you're going to go ahead and pull your gray handle. So that's as easy as it gets. It's super simple. Uh, it's not as bad as uh, people make it out to, to be. Here is your cable. If you'd like to run cable to the campground, you can hook your coax up right here. We talked about all the entertainment options inside. Uh, do have our exhaust. There's an exhaust vent right there for our furnace. Down here, another nice storage bay. This is some of the pasture we showed you on the other side. Camping chairs, fishing poles, whatever. And here is another access port for some plumbing. As we move down to this bay, huge. I mean, you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. A cooler, um, you can fit, it's your bay. Whatever you want to fit in it, the 50 amp cord, stores right up here. There's a hook for it right up here. Um, again, you can store it wherever you want, but there is a nice hook for it there. And as we move down to this bay, this is our propane tank. You can always tell that it's the propane because it's the one that doesn't lock. All right, you got a little storage up here, maybe a tool bag, uh, extension cords, whatever you need. And this is where you're going to fill your propane. You're gonna to wanna to turn that on. You do need propane to run your furnace. You do need propane for your water heater and you need propane for the exterior propane connection. Second fuel fill, so whatever side, again, you can fill your diesel fuel right there. Do have exhaust for your generator, so keep that in mind when you're over here. And this was the bay that we opened uh, the hood in. All kinds of stuff going on in here. You do have some 12 volt fuses in here. So if something isn't, oh, let's say uh, your subwoofer isn't working or the driver's seat, this is where you're gonna check on that. And if you're having problems with your hydraulic jacks, this is where you're going to check that. The fluid is in there. This is your windshield washer fluid. And again, your hood release up top, another mirror with another camera. And that is our Palazzo 37.6. You're ready to go somewhere. I'm ready to go somewhere. This is going to take you and your family and friends all over. Anywhere you can imagine, you can travel in style and luxury in the Palazzo 37.6. And no matter how you travel, I'll tell you what, have fun, make it happen. Because it's not, it's not about having time. It's about making the time to enjoy life and enjoy it in your Thor Motor Coach Palazzo 37.6. I appreciate you watching. I'm Steve Duval, and we'll see you next time.